Recently, Facebook has rolled out 3D photos. While scrolling the feed, these 3D photos create a fun parallax animation to the otherwise static feed and thus grabs the active attention of your audience. If you are like me, by now you would be wondering if you can use 3D photos to create Facebook ads. I am afraid not. I have already tried posting a test 3D picture to a new Facebook page, however, the boost is unavailable for the same. However, you may still post 3D pictures to your personal or business Facebook pages and the effect it creates won't go unnoticed. MACD has already jumped in to benefit from the reach of 3D photos. May you be the next. To create 3D photos, you need a dual cam phone. Right now, this is live on all dual cam iPhones and more phones are expected to follow in the coming weeks. As per the official tutorial, after updating the app, you will find the option to upload 3D photos by clicking on the three dots at the new post screen. However, my interface looked a bit different and the 3D photo option wasn't available there even after days of the launch. To activate the same, I had to find a 3D photo in my Facebook feed and had to click on the Try 3D Photo button to activate the same. If you are on a dual game iPhone and could not find the option to post 3D photos, search for the group Facebook 360 Community and look for the Try 3D Photo button at the bottom of any of the 3D photos. It would open up the portrait album and you would be able to select any of your past portraits to create a 3D picture. Although it has just been launched and it is in its initial stage, still Facebook's algo is very good in generating a 3D photo out of the bokeh effect. For example, in this photo look at the tower at the background. As I move the cursor to the right, it extends the edge of the tower. However, the top of the tower is left as it is. That is, its algo is intelligent enough to know which part of the tower to stretch and which not to at any given angle. It also knows that the picture is missing the information behind my head. Hence, instead of relying on AI to artificially generate some random pixels, it blurs that part, which in my opinion is better than forcing AI sometimes messy content aware. Overall, I feel that Facebook's 3D algo is quite good as it is, and it will improve even more with the time as they are relying on user-generated content for Facebook's VR ecosystem for Oculus. As a matter of fact, you may actually hack into the 3D format to artificially create 3D promotional content. Interestingly, a few people have used them very cleverly to post memes as well as promotional content in 3D. In fact, Facebook had initially released a 3D post in Feb 2018, but then it could only be posted using the output file from a 3D imaging software. The format gained popularity only a week ago when it was launched for general public, allowing them to convert their portraits into 3D photos. In this example, I am using a free account at Vectory.com to generate the GLV file to post it on Facebook as a 3D photo. You may use similar tools to generate interesting layered 3D content for your promotions. Let's utilize the 3D format while it is still fresh and has the potential to go viral. Thank you.